Okay, we're going to continue our journey on Amazon Web Services, AWS Cloud Quest, Cloud Practitioner. Let's see what's next. Okay, so to see your next available assignment, click the bottom right. There under assignments, there should be something. Assignments. Database in practice on your assignment list. Okay, it's not appearing. Not sure what's going on. Let me uh Ah okay, so it just takes a while for the assignments to load up. Okay, many more to go. Let's start with the first one, databases in practice. Click on the route and go and it will bring you to the customer. Okay, click on the exclamation mark to speak to the customer. read through and then click the links and it will tell you what's the challenge the customer is facing okay rds that's what gonna learn about Re relational database service Okay, so the availability zones is for disaster recovery. Okay, seems like the read replica does not impact the performance, so it's like a backup with no impact to performance. Okay, so on this page, it will give you the high-level overview of the uh, structure. So we got the availability zones, some replicas, and then the rewrite access. Okay, so it, at this point, you can click through the video concepts to go through the videos. Okay, I'll pause the video while I go through the video. Okay, so the video, the videos uh, covered all the main areas like availability zones, the hey for only what you use and easy to scale uh, depending on your demand and needs and then security for all the permissions. So once you're done with the videos, you can click the X at the top right to go back to this screen. Then you can click through the arrows to see the different uh, sections of this uh, plan then we're done click on to plan this will be the next uh, stage where there'll be practice labs and then the DIY goals okay click on the bottom right three practice okay the top left click on the start lab that will launch the instance for you to work with. Click on the open AWS console and it will open up in a new tab. So that's what we'll be using. Okay, click through the steps by hitting the arrow key. Okay, step two would be 
in the services search for rds rds and click on it Okay, once it's loaded, you can go back and click on to the next step. Step 3. Databases, create database. That's on the left here. Create is on the right. Then click next. Step 4. Standard. And then Maria DB, okay. Okay, standard is uh, selected already. And we can select Maria DB. Next step, step five. Version, default version. Templates, dev test. Okay, so you scroll down template is a uh, dev test the version you just leave it as what was selected click next step six identifier type that's the name okay my db Credentials, accept the default, admin, master password. That's the password we will use. Okay, then the next step. Step 7, DB instance class burstable classes okay, scroll down burstable classes then choose tx x large tx uh, oh t3 t3 x large Okay, then the storage GP2 20 gig GP2 20 gig okay so that's the default okay then go to the next step step 8 storage auto scaling enable we scroll down okay, enable storage auto scaling default threshold 1000 Okay, got that there. Availability zones, create standby instance. Ah, uh, this one. Okay, next step, step nine. VPC, virtual public, private cloud. Uh, default settings, okay. So you scroll down, VPC, we accept the default settings subgroup subnet group default public access default there's no default no okay security group also default choose existing okay then next step step 10 additional configuration okay to expand this section initial database my database db parameter okay you think the defaults 
Okay, then review the backup, automatic backup, seven days. Automatic, automated backups, uh, seven days. Okay, next step, step 11. Encryption. Review, we'll take the default. Okay, scroll down. Encryption, enabled, default. Then we have the performance insights, uncheck that uh, okay this here and monitoring monitoring also uncheck the box okay then next step 12 step 12 under maintenance Uncheck enable auto minor version. Okay, scroll down, enable. Okay, uncheck that. No preference, that's the maintenance window. Okay, then review estimated cost, then create the database. Okay, scroll down. So that's your estimated monthly cost 400 US dollars. Okay, then create. Okay, give it some time to load. Then you should see the instance being uh, created under the status it's creating. Okay, let's go to the next step. Step 13. 15 to 20 minutes to create the DB. Okay, I'll pause the video. I'll resume and uh, it's done. Okay, if you click the refresh button down here, then you will cycle through the different status. Now it's uh, backing up. Okay, if you click the refresh buttons, then finally it will say available. So we can go back to the Cloud Quest tab and click my database and review. Okay, that's what we have. So it's available. Okay, next step. Step 14, actions. Actions. Uh, so with it selected, we can do these uh, various actions. Okay, next step, step 15. We are done. So that's done with the practice. Then we can uh, proceed to the DIY section. At the bottom right, you can click on the DIY button. Okay, so the DIY section is where you are given a task to do without any uh, steps provided. So it's uh, you're on your own. So by watching this video, you'll probably get the answers and solution. Okay, so the DIY activity is to create re replica of that primary database using TX X large instance. Okay, I think the, that was the hint, right? The hint was to click the database the db identifier and then go to the actions and then we create the replica okay what we need to take note is that the instance type t3 x large okay which is already selected so that's good then db identifier and the read replica identifier Okay, so we have to somehow uh, specify the name of this uh, read replica. Okay, let's just leave everything as default and scroll down. Okay, we'll just scroll through. See if there's any place to 
enter the identifier okay it's here identifier for the db instance okay let's leave it blank see what happens when we try to create the re replica okay the error says that the instance identifier must not be blank ah okay so that's the setting here okay let's do a uh, my database read replica one okay then we scroll down and create okay you'll be brought back to this page and let's see let's try to refresh ah okay so that's the read replica that we created and the status is creating so i guess we have to wait a while for the status to turn to available before we proceed to validate the validate the creation okay i'll pause the video and i'll uh, get back when the status is available so keep pressing the refresh button once in a while okay so now the first database is available and the next one the read replica is still creating Okay, hey, we'll scroll through different status messages. We'll just keep waiting. Modifying. Okay, so the status is available for both of the database, DBs. Then we can proceed to enter the db identifier and then validate if we have done it correctly okay enter the two identifiers then click validate then wait for the messages on the right side okay so the diy step is completed and it, the solution is correct then click on the exit at the bottom right to go back to the customer okay click on the exclamation mark on top of the person that's where you deliver on your assignment and you get a reward so choose the style that you like Let's go for the helicopter, helipad on top of the building, then collect. Okay, so that's the reward, our reward for this assignment, the RDS databases in practice. That's the title for this uh assignment okay i guess that's the end for this video um do look out for the next one on the next assignment